right, guys. We got one more project here. We got Kawasaki 310. And we need to put this Garmin onto there. We're going to have to go ahead and set it about right here. This high. Like that high. And we need to figure out how to attach it to a jet ski without drilling any new holes. So we're going to go ahead and start taking the panel off, lifting the hood, seat, all of that stuff. We're going to remove and take a look inside under this plastic, what we got to work with. So I'll get to it right away. So let's get it going. All right, guys. So um, after some extensive thinking here and trying to figure out how to how to get this thing done, um, I think what we're gonna do is we're going to actually utilize those two holes, but we're going to have to build a reinforcement inside the bracket. So once we we're gonna utilize this and this hole. And then we're going to use these holes here as well. That ought to make it nice and strong, which at that point the plastic should actually not be able to flex at all. Because when we form when we form a plate that goes from here, curved like that, and it comes down here, we can actually put a reinforcement in an angle like this. So once we do that, this part is going to be nice and strong. And from there, we're going to link out with the arm coming in this way. So that hole will be in place, and then we're going to come out this way. So basically what we're doing is we're creating a plate that goes from here, covers all of this, comes down, and then goes around, comes this way. That's one plate. And like I said, we're going to run uprights, something like this, this way, and make it strong, make it strong, and make it strong. So those two holes should be plenty to hold in place, plus you take the cover off, your GPS will come off with it. So let's, uh, I guess let's get it going. Let's take these uh, things off and then uh, we'll see what we're working with. Try to create this uh, plate. So I hope these are tense. So they are. Once we take the mirror off, we should be able to start pulling those plastic snippets in. take this stuff off and then once we take this off we can uh, get it welded, tech welded first, test fit it and then we can proceed further on.
it's going to do, it's going to allow us to shape it to this right here a lot easier and it'll look a little better and will be just as strong. So let me uh, go ahead and get that done. So, we got the bracket here. We're gonna clean it off all nice and everything, but for now, what I need to do is just check and make sure everything fits in here the way I really want it. So, you put this bracket in, you slide it in, fits right in there. You take the mirror, you we'll put the mirror in, put the mirror, and pull the bracket back a little bit. There we go. All the holes line up. Mirror clears. We got this main support. Cool. Now what we're gonna have to do is uh, put some bolts in here. So the bolts that we bought, the long ones, will go right here, like so. Now this bracket is ready to go on from this side. Just like that. Now we're gonna take these guys. And get them in there. It's inside, it's not touching the mirror. It's touching the plastic just a little bit, but we can actually pull that away and then it will be perfectly fine. So now, as you see, we cut this uh, piece out. So what we're going to do is we're gonna try to form it to the bracket. So when it's on here, we can take a look and see where we need to bend and everything. And plus we get the access to all the bolts. So let's start actually forming this bracket together. So.
have to do is just make this bin right here. I start cleaning everything up. We put it on the, uh, put it on the ski. We can start, uh, after that we can start playing with the, uh, with the fish finder. We can take a look and see where we're going to place it. But for now, let's just go ahead and, uh, I'm not going to clean this bracket yet, simply because I'm going to still need to take it all apart. Because I have to weld this in. And this part will have to be welded to join with this one. So what we have to do now is just test fit and make sure we got the angle right to see if we need to cut anything off, angle it any way possible and go from there. So let's go ahead and uh, bring that other piece on here, put this bracket on, put the mirror back on, uh, tighten it up and put it on the jet ski. So let's go. So now we can actually put everything together, so that's good. Take a look and see what we got. Oh yeah. yeah that mirror is not going anywhere. So what I'm gonna do now guys is I'm gonna go ahead and uh, put it on a jet ski and then uh, I'll show you what it looks like. All right guys, so what we got right now is we got this right here, okay? We got that plate there and that plate there. So that and that. And what we need to do is we need to join them together and after we do that build a platform for the gps to stand right up here basically we're going to weld it to this one but we're going to screw it onto that one this way the mirror can be taken off if needed and all that great stuff so let me go ahead and uh, get to it and uh i will see you in just a second got this piece right here aluminum piece made bent shaped now we're ready to put it on a jet ski and uh, attach it and then start building a platform for the fish finder. So let's get to it. Alright guys, so here's what we got so far. We got this bracket already mounted on here. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to make a platform for the GPS that's going to sit on top here and we can offset further this way if we wanted to. And then uh, after that's done, we level it, turn it the way we want it. We're going to fabricate a piece that's going to come, come from here, okay, in this edge. And then it's going to come up and be leveled where the platform will be attached to. Now, this thing is pretty on there. It's pretty stout. And I don't think, I mean, I don't think this thing is going anywhere. So... Not that I don't think, I know it's not going to go anywhere. So you can take a look and see how it goes inside the mirror there and it's reinforced and we have a secondary plate on the back side and then a bracket on the inside which reinforces everything. So um, before I, you know, put the plate, you know, paint on it, I'm going to bring it back and show you what it actually looks like piece by piece. We'll do the assembly so you can actually see. So stay tuned, let me get the plate cut out, weld it on, and then make that upright here to join the two together. All right, cool. All right, guys, so I got that bracket on there. Um, for now, temporarily just attach the GPS. So what we're going to do now is we need to make a plate go from here 
to here to join the two. This way it's going to be nice and solid. But once we do that, afterwards we're going to make a plate that comes from this angle here, right? Comes this way, and then from here falls into that. So that's going to be all welded up, closed in, uh, you won't see anything. Then I'm thinking we're going to run the cables through here, right? From here, come on down, feed it through this hole. We're going to make a cover that will cover this up and take the shape of here, okay? And then from there we'll join everything. So the wires are going to be hidden away and they're going to go under the lid. They're going to go under the lid, through here, they're going to come in in here. There's a rubber piece that covers this hole. And then from there it's going to go inside and in there, run through. And I saw on that other side there is a rubber fitting in there for the cables. So we're going to feed the wire in there. But let's talk about the, uh, the mount. So as you can see I attached the mount here on one side with the three, uh, three screws. Uh, there are 10 30 seconds by half inch with the uh, Ellen head. So they're on there pretty nice and snug. Only thing is now to join these two and make the cover. So let's get back to it and uh, I'll keep you up to date what it looks like and what it comes up looking like. All right? All right, guys. Guess what? Here's what I want to show you there's the mount for the GPS. Yep, it's, it's on there, it looks good, clean, strong as hell, now all we have to do is just come up with a cool looking uh, cover, splash guard for it. Alright guys, so, so far here's what we got, uh, we do have the arm, see the arm here? Okay, then these are side pieces, yeah for the shield. So once we get this uh, off and weld it on together we're going to proceed with cutting cutting the pattern out for the uh, for the shield itself and then welding it onto here and making it all nice and pretty. So yeah I, I'm pretty happy the way it turned uh, coming along so let's uh, let's let's get going. Alright all right, well here's what we got so far we got ourselves a shield for the GPS. All I got to do now is to, uh, put final touches on it, weld it, polish it off, and then uh, yep, I'll show you when it's installed. So we're good to go. All right, guys. So here's what we got. We got the lid. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to bring the piece on and then uh, we're going to install the lid on so you can see. Hang tight. So let's take a look and see what it looks like. Nice. I like it. What do y'all think? Of course, I'm going to put a couple of uh, final, you know, touches on here and then it should be ready for paint. So, it looks good. Let's do that. Let's get the final touches on there and we'll keep going. Alright guys, so uh, one Kawasaki ready to go. I wanted to show you the finished product guys. So this is a mirror mount for Kawasaki 310X Ultra. One fish finder. And yes, everything works. So we got a battery hooked up. So as you can see. Man, this was uh, definitely a very, very interesting build. Um, tough one coming up with the bracket for it and everything, but dope, as you can see. I'm very, very happy with the build, very happy with the way it turned out. Nice and flush. So, anyway, guys, 
stay tuned for more builds.